Hi, I'm John, and today I'm going to talk about Microsoft switching off Recall by default in their new Copilot Plus PCs. Uh, there was a big backlash on this. I'll have a link down to this Wired article. You can read it for yourself. Uh, so they've switched off Recall by default. Um, understand that before this and before the big backlash, having Recall on by default seemed like a good idea to Microsoft. Seemed like a good idea to the marketing department, to the technical department. I don't know what they're thinking inside these companies. It must be that they're living in this kind of bubble where they think, oh, this is what I'd really like is just a total recall and be able to uh, look up something because I can't keep track of so many things. I think that must be what it is because if they're on their PC all day long, which I'm sure they are because they're coding and things like that, they'd like to have that recall. It makes sense to them. But to the average user, it doesn't make any sense because we want to have our privacy. Why, you know, once again, from my last video, why would you want to do this? Why would you want to have recall on? I've got customers, once again, that give me uh, personal information where they live because I've got to ship things to them or credit card numbers, things like that. It's, as one person put it in uh, one of the things I read, uh, was that it was an open season for hackers to try to get into everybody's PC because they'd be able to find out all sorts of things that they wouldn't be able to find out otherwise if there wasn't recall. Recall is a strange idea, and I'm not sure um, if they need to get their uh, technology team at Microsoft or their marketing team out there talking to people. What would you like in a PC? <laughs> I, I kind of wonder if that ever gets asked. I think typically with technology companies, it goes like this. Can we, hey, Ted, can we do this? Yeah, Bob, we can do it. Then let's do it. I mean, it's never an, a question of whether should we do it? Will people not like this? It's, can we do it? Sure. Then let's do it. Yeah. I, mean, I think that's what it gets down to. Uh, so one of the quotes here from one of their vice presidents is, we are updating the setup experience of Copilot Plus PCs to give people a clear choice to opt in to saving snapshots using recall. Uh, if you don't proactively choose to turn it on, it will be off by default. Uh, okay. I also found out that somebody said in an article when I did the last video, they said, oh, they were going to take a snapshot every uh, several minutes, that type of thing. No, no, no. It's going to be anywhere from three to five seconds, a snapshot. Let's do a little bit of math on that. Uh, let's say you've got, um, you know, say five seconds. Uh, so somewhere around, say, 11 snapshots every minute times 60 minutes is 660 snapshots per hour times, say you're working on it, eight hours a day, whatever you're doing, uh, that would be 5,280 snapshots that it's going to uh, go back in and OCR. It's going to um, keep all that data so that you can search for it. Uh, I don't know about you, but I don't need that many reminders, snapshots, recalls, whatever you want to call it, um, in an eight-hour period. This, this doesn't even include other things that can happen on your PC. Um, it's just not, uh, not a great thing. It's also, uh, as this uh, one person said, it, it makes your security very fragile. Anyone who penetrates your computer for even a second can get your whole history, which is not something people want. That's exactly right. Uh, that was from a former NSA hacker. And, of course, we all know the NSA just loves things like this. So this guy probably knows. Uh, one of the things that uh, the CEO of Microsoft uh, mentioned, uh, he says, quote, if you're faced with the trade-off between security and another priority, your answer is 
do security. And he, he uh, emphasizes that, do security. You know, they're not about security. Had nobody mentioned this and nobody gotten upset about it, they wouldn't have, have reversed their position on this. And recall would still be an opt-out type thing where it would be by default recall. Um, once again, it makes you wonder what they're thinking inside the bubble at these big tech companies. Uh, they're not thinking about security right away. And, um, you know, because they don't think about things like this until the cat's out of the bag, it makes me wonder if, number one, they would have ever said anything. And number two, can you trust them now? Can you trust them that this won't be working somewhere in the background? There's no way to know because you can't see the code or anything like that. And you're also not aware of what's going on in that bubble at Microsoft, Google, Facebook, all these different big tech companies. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I went to Linux and I've hated Microsoft for years. Um, it hasn't been any good for me since XP. Maybe Windows 7, maybe. Um, but I got away from it uh, about two and a half years ago, finally. Um, once I saw that Linux really was the, the best answer for my personal computing, and it will keep you more private, uh, no doubt about that. Uh, but this whole thing by Microsoft wanting to have this recall, once again, I don't think it was necessarily malicious, but it was guys in the background going, I'd really like to have this. Well, maybe they would in their coding world, but for most people, that's not the case. Wouldn't you like to see? And wouldn't you like to be able to, to go back to things? Uh, sure, but it's exposed all sorts of negatives. And, um, you know, this is your private information. And I think this is going to be a trend more and more that people are going to demand privacy and they're not going to be uh, just accepting what uh, big tech gives them. I would hope so. So it's uh, an interesting time as um, AI develops and a lot of these other type of things uh, get moving. Uh, what's good and what isn't? We've got to make these decisions. And right now, I wish Microsoft would just say, we're not going to do recall at all. We just have really good chipsets on the motherboard that, and we're going to vital, uh, uh, make those uh, a vital part of what we're doing. If I can talk right this morning, I don't even know. Um, and it's all about what is good for the customer experience, not what's good for uh, a technology guy that, we don't know who he is. He's got a different view of the world than we do. So I don't trust them. I don't trust that they wouldn't still somehow use this in the background. And I think it does make you very open to hackers. And um, if they do get in, boy, they've got all your information. And I mean everything. Because uh, so much of what we do now uh, goes through our PCs or our phones or that type of thing. It's not necessarily a great time to be alive when it's coming to technology because we've got to deal with this. And uh, let's hope we make the right decisions and move forward. Anyway, that's it. I'll talk to you again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.